Okay, folks, I am going to share with you today how to set up a turntable. I know there's a lot of videos on this. Some of them are like 12 minutes. They don't need to be 12 minutes. So we're going to get right down to brass tacks, and let me explain this to you. Easy breezy. First thing you need, obviously, is a turntable, and you need one of these, okay? Now, this is already set up, but I'm going to show you anyway, okay? What I, what I like to do, a few things. Number one, and I'm going to get down here. I'm doing this with one hand, by the way. You want to make sure you are level front to back, side to side. So if I look at my level right here, you could see I'm on the money. Every turntable, at least this one, but every turntable should have four feet on the back that you could um, make go up or down. And that's how you level the up and the down. And you could see I am level. So I am level uh, front to back. Now, I don't have a lot of room on the back, so that's when I go to the turntable. I'm gonna drop that right on the turntable, and you could see I'm kind of right there in the middle, so I am good. And then, I'm gonna do the same thing like that. And you could see I am good, okay? So, that's it, okay? That's how you level a turntable, and you want the turntable to be level, period. Okay, now, let's talk about the arm. The arm is real simple. You want to, you have two parts to this weight in the back, okay? Um, this is the weight, and this is how you set the metric, the number of the weight, okay? So how do you set the weight? Well, the first thing you have to do, if I move this weight to zero, just like that, okay? You can see at zero, you want your arm to be floating. You don't want it too high. You don't want it too low. And you can see I'm kind of right there. In fact, I could bring it a, a hair. When I say a hair, I'm going to spin this because again, you want this to float. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. See, that's too high. Actually, that's not too bad. That's, that's, that's about floating right there. I'm gonna drop it a tad. Yeah, see that? I'm floating right now. Once you have it floating, you wanna then set this to zero. That's your zero point. Now, then you have to determine what the weight is, okay? That's real simple. Let's walk over here. This is, I'm using the vinyl. This isn't magic, it's not a mystery, it's in the manual. This says between three to five grams. That's what it recommends. So I'm gonna come over here now. I'm, I leveled it at zero. Now I'm gonna move the whole thing to three grams. Right there. And then anti-skating should match and mine does. Now your arm is set where it needs to be set. Okay, so turntables level. Uh, the weight of the arm is perfect. Last thing is on the head, okay? There's a thing called overhang, okay? And it's, again, this isn't rocket science. This is in the manual. So when you install your cartridge, it has to be installed at a certain place. Again, not magic. Download the manual to your turntable and it will say where this connects, where the stylus should be. In my case, 52 millimeters. So I will include a link to an Amazon, uh, you know, very cheap and expensive, you know, small ruler that when you're installing this, you could get 52 millimeters from the stylus to that point in the arm. And that's what I've done. So when you mount that, you could see there's a little bit of an overhang there because the stylus is 52 millimeters to that silver point right there. If you do all of that, your turntable is ready to go. See you later.